This film will show you how to select the best seeds. Testing. How to inoculate your soybean seed. How to space and sow your soybeans. How to apply fertilizer to the soil. Now that the land is prepared, next is to plant your seeds. Remember that you need to plant good seeds. For successful soybean farming, ensure that you have good seeds. You can buy good seeds from approved dealers. If you're unable to buy good seed, you can use grain you saved from the previous season. Wherever your seed comes from, it's a good idea to do a seed test. Soybean has been grown in Africa for a long time, but scientists such as the Savannah Agricultural Research Institute, SARI, have been developing new and improved varieties better suited to the changing conditions in Ghana. If you save some of your soybeans as seed, you should consider replacing your seed every three seasons. This will keep the seed pure and help you maintain your yields. 10 to 15 days before planting, test your seed with a germination test. Plant 100 soybean seeds in a pot or a bed. If over 80 grow, the seed is good. If 60 to 80 grow, plant more seeds than recommended and thin if necessary. If less than 60 seeds grow, you should consider getting new seed. Inoculate your seed before planting. This enables your soybeans to grow faster, give more yield and produce more nodules, which means more nitrogen will be added to the soil. You should also consider applying fertilizer on your soybean field. When fertilizer is applied in addition to inoculation, they work together to improve your yield further. Increasingly, agro-dealers are selling improved legume seed. There are two major varieties of improved soybean seed available in northern Ghana. Afayak, which has a yellow seed, and Jengoma, which is cream. Both varieties recommend 20 kilograms of seed per acre. Mature in 110 to 115 days, can yield one ton per acre and should produce 800 kilograms are described as low shattering varieties, are resistant to striga and bacterial pustule. Afayak is also resistant to Circospora leaf spots. All soybean seeds must be stored in a safe dry place. Also be sure to handle seeds carefully because soybean seed can be easily damaged if mishandled. Always plant safe seed in the following season to ensure good germination. Sort out the good seeds for planting to ensure they're free from insect damage or infestation, disease or weed seeds. Remove any seeds that do not look perfect. Soybean farming is good. To get the goodness of soybean farming, get good seeds. When sowing, apply fertilizer. Also look to it that weeds do not grow on your field. This way, pests and diseases will not affect your soybeans. When pests and diseases affect your soybeans, they will not give a good yield. Therefore, control weeds regularly. Soybean makes nitrogen. It's like having free urea by making nodules. These are formed by a reaction with rhizobia good bacteria in the soil. The nitrogen will be in the soil the next season to boost, so it's good to grow cereals after. Inoculant is cheaper than buying urea the next season. Soils in Ghana already naturally contain rhizobia, but often not the ones that support soybean. So you can buy inoculant of the right variety of rhizobia. Inoculant is natural harmless to soil and seed, and it improves your soybean yield. Buy inoculant from a trusted agro dealer, near to planting season. Inoculant is a living product. Keep it in a cool, dark place. Fridge, not the freezer. 
Once open, it will keep for just a few days. Ensure you only use the inoculant selected for soybean. Legume fix is most widely available and it comes in 250 gram packs, enough for two and a half acres of soybean seed. Now we're going to show you how to apply the inoculant called legume fix to soybean seeds. There are other varieties and they all have slightly different instructions. So check the details on the pack. Step 1. Place 15 kilograms of soybean in a plastic container, preferably with a cover or lid. Step 2. Mix in six teaspoons or six soda bottle tops of water to moisten the seed. Step three, add 15 teaspoons, 75 grams of inoculants and mix until the seeds are evenly covered. Step four, cover the bucket and dry the inoculated seed in shade for one hour. Plant treated seeds within one to two hours of inoculation. Remember, once the inoculant is open, it needs to be kept in a cool, dark place. You should aim to apply the rest of the inoculant to your seed in the next two to three days whilst it's still active. Once opened, the longer it's kept, the less likely it is to work. Inoculant is added to the seed at planting. Remember, direct sunlight or heat will kill the inoculant. Remember that how you apply the inoculant depends on the type of inoculant you use. Therefore, always check the instructions on the package or ask the agro dealer or extension worker. You can also contact organizations such as Green F or SARI for assistance in how to use the inoculant. Always make sure that you're ready to plant before you inoculate your soybean seeds. A packet of legume fix, such as the one we showed, can be used to inoculate soybeans for planting two and a half acres. Plant when the rains are well established to avoid dry periods after planting. Plant when the soil is moist. Plant in the morning or evening to avoid direct sunlight on the inoculated seed. Sunlight will make the inoculant ineffective, so try to keep treated seeds covered or in the shade. Plant in straight lines or rows. This has many advantages. More plants can be grown on your land, and weeding it is easier. Harvesting takes less time. You can get your planting line straight by using a rope. Plant at two to five centimeters depth. Planting deeper than five centimeters may result in loss of vigor or failure to emerge. Five centimeters is about the distance from the end of your thumb to the first joint. Use a dibber or a stick to create the planting hole. 90 seedlings per square meter is considered good spacing. When drilling, use a row spacing of 60 centimeters. This is about the length of two footprints. The plant spacing is one seed every five centimeters. This is about the length of your little finger in the row. This is a lot of holes to make, so if you're planting manually, a spacing of 60 centimeters by 10 centimeters with two seedlings per planting hole will work nearly as well. Sow the seeds two to four centimeters deep. Soybean seedlings are very delicate when emerging from the soil. So when planting, soil in the planting hole must not be firmed. Apart from growing soybean as the only crop, you can intercrop soybean with a cereal crop. Soybean does not grow well when shaded, therefore it's best grown in strips. Intercrop with two to four rows of soybean and two rows of a cereal crop. You can also plant soybean in between rows of newly planted crops of cassava. Use the recommended planting distances for both crops. Adding phosphorus or pea fertilizer increases your soybean crop. If NPK is added to the soil the previous year, it should provide enough pea this year for soybean. Soybean also boosts the nitrogen for next year's maize. 
Applying pea fertilizer like DAP boosts root development and nodulation. Without pea fertilizer, soybean may not grow well or will be yellow or purple instead of green. Adding too much nitrogen fertilizer stops the soybean making its own nitrogen. It will also produce more leaves and have a low harvest. Apply fertilizer into a 5 to 7 cm deep furrow and cover with 2 cm of soil under where the seed will be planted. So the fertilizer never touches the soybean seed or inoculant. Fertilizer type DAP at 60 kg per acre or one soda top spread onto a furrow every 30 centimeters. A soil test can help you understand the condition of your soil and will indicate the fertilizers and nutrients that the soil needs.